Well, just when I thought it was safe to put away the New York Central F3s from the Century Club and the passenger cars I found, nope, they're back out on the layout. Stay tuned and I'll tell you why. Welcome everybody, hope you're having a great day. Welcome back if you're a subscriber, or just welcome if you're new here and came across this video. Yes, the Century Club New York Central F3s are back on the layout. And you're probably asking, Marty, you wrapped up the series of videos with the 773 a couple weeks ago, why are they back on the layout? Well, some extenuating circumstances came up this week that really, really made it uh, necessary to put these on the layout. So as you know, this did not come with a Century Club inspired passenger car set or rolling stock. So I found a set of four passenger cars that I thought worked perfectly behind the New York Central F3s. With the silhouettes, it really made it the post-war feel of the Century Club. Well, I knew there was two more cars out there somewhere, and this week I found them. I found the two cars set and they were mint new in the box. Matter of fact, they were so new, their roofs did not match the roofs that I already purchased. And it was all because they were a little dustier. So I cleaned those up, they match much better now. So let's take a real good look at those. And uh, of course we'll get them out of the box. Da-dum, yep. They're already on the uh, layout. So let's pull it up. We'll take a look at those two cars and take a few laps around the layout. The New York Central two-pack passenger set, product number 6-21780. This is a perfect match to the four-car passenger set, product number 6-19171 that we previously saw in the Century Club New York Central F3 video. Both cars are aluminum and sport four-wheel die-cast trucks. The set is made up of the Martin Van Buren combination baggage and coach car. A nice addition to the baggage car from the previous set to carry more passenger luggage now that we've added more capacity. The second car is the Castleton Bridge sleeper car. The folks riding the rails now have a place to lay their heads and fall asleep to the clickety-clack of the rails. The interior illumination is incandescent and gives the passenger silhouettes that warm post-war glow. Both cars are the lightning stripe theme that is carried through from the engine. What a great addition to round out this beautiful set. Now let's see them in action.
So what did you think of the six cars being pulled by the New York Central F3 ABA? I think they make a perfect match to the Century Club engine. I was so excited to find the two additional uh, cars to go with the passenger set. I really didn't think I needed them, but when I found them, I knew I had to have them. So I want to keep this video short, but I hope you liked it. And if you did, I'd appreciate you punching the like button. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. We'd love to have you. Push the little bell notification button so you know when I upload new videos. And please, make a comment in the comments section. I read every one of them, and I reply to every one of them. Now, summer's wrapping up. The leaves are starting to fall. Getting ready to close the pool next week. And uh, York, fall is right around the corner. So, um, my next video is um, kind of a unique piece, and it is from Lionel. So we'll take a look at that next time. I'm already working on that video, so it should be here hopefully within a week, maybe a little longer. But until next time, get down in the basements, get up in those train rooms, wherever it is, and happy railroading.